responding to questions of the parliamentarians on the budget, Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dahal has expressed commitment of including the participation of the House of House members in the budget development process from the coming year. Good morning, I'm Sarah Chitrakar and these are the headlines of the hour. Muslim community across the country celebrating Eid al-Adha today by exchanging greetings and offering prayers to Allah. Hindu community also observing Tulsi Planting Day. Court grants seven-day custody against four arrested and alleged involvement in Lalita Niwas land scam. Min Bahadur Gurung found to have grabbed 29 rupees of land. Human remains believed to have been found within the wreckage of the Titan submersible which imploded on a deep dive to the Titanic. Medical professionals to conduct formal analysis. And Stefanos Chichipas crash out of the Mallorca Open Championship on Wednesday in his first match with a defeat by Yannick Huffman. The Muslim community is celebrating Bakra Eid or Eid al-Adha, one of the biggest Islamic festivals today by exchanging greetings and offering prayers to Allah. On this day, Muslims visit the nearest mosque to offer prayers while animal sacrifice is made, generally goat or lamb, to express their devotion and love for Allah. The government had announced public holiday on the occasion of the festival today. Ex extending their greetings on the occasion of Eid al-Adha, President Ram Chandra Paudel and Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dahal hoped that the festival will promote unity and harmony in the society. Meanwhile, the Hindu community is celebrating Hari Shayani Ekadasi today, also called Tulsi Planting Day. Basil seeds are sown and worshipped by performing various rituals on this day and will continue for four months. The gold Jalahari has been reinstalled at the Pashupati Nath temple early this morning by fulfilling the rituals. The Jalahari was earlier taken out for inspection following speculations of corruption. The works of installment of the Gold Jalhari had begun from 6 p.m. yesterday. The temple has reopened for a general public from, from 5 p.m. today after all the installment of the Jalhari was completed. After the reinstallation of the Jalhari, a puja will be held for three days. The Pashupati Nath temple was closed for pilgrims after the special puja of 2 p.m. yesterday. According to the Pashupati Area Development Trust, the Jalhari, which was kept at a locker in Rudragareshur under the security of the Nepal Army, has been reinstalled at required repair and sanitation works. The Jalhari was reinstalled under the supervision of representatives from CIAA. The Nepal Rashtra Bank had purchased 107.93 kilograms of gold at an investment of more than 800 million rupees for the gold Jalahari at the Pashupati Nath Temple. The CIA had been investigating allegations of irregularities during the process of installation of the Jalahari. The issue of mafias grabbing the land near the official residence of the Prime Minister in Balbatar, Kathmandu is currently at the court. Police has been investigating the Lalita Nivas land scam for the past five years. Despite investigations being halted for the past year and a half, police has resumed required probing and has been allowed to conduct investigations with a seven-day judicial custody of four individuals arrested for their alleged involvement in the infamous scam. There was a total of 287 rupees of government land near the official residence of Prime Minister and the Chief Justice. However, there is not a single piece of government land left other than 114 rupees over which the government residences have been made. Police is investigating those alleged of grabbing the land of the Lalita Nivas with the involvement of land mafias. One of the persons alleged of involvement in the scam is operator of Bhatpatini supermarket Min Bahadur Gurung, who was arrested yesterday. Gurung has grabbed, in fact, who was arrested on Tuesday. Gurung has grabbed 29 rupees of land by colluding with Shovakanta Thakal and Ramprasad Subedi. Based on the conspiracy of the mafias, Gurung presented eight fake tenants to grab 29 rupees. Based on investigations, Gurung had begun presenting fake tenants from the 10th of June 20, 2004 until the mid of January 2005. 
On the 22nd of December 2004, Arjun Maharjan had received 828,000 rupees, Tirtha Maharjan got 600,000 rupees and Shahila Maharjan received 1 million rupees. According to police investigations, a total of 7.6 million was paid to eight individuals, also including Joglal Maharjan, Nuche Maharjan, Sanjay Kumar Maharjan, Lakshmi Maharjan and Kancha Maharjan to grab the 29 rupees of government land. Gurung has kept the ownership of most of the land with relative Sarala Gurung and himself. While a few of the fake tenants have already died, a few others have already identified themselves. Police has alleged Gurung of forgery and creating fake tenants of government land. Meanwhile, three erstwhile government officials were also arrested for their involvement in the scam. Investigations have shown that Sudhir Shah of the Revenue Office had received five rupees of land, while Gopal Karki had vanished the file of 112 rupees of land 31 years ago. Dharma Prasad Gautam is also alleged of converting the ownership from the erstwhile His Majesty's government to Guti 38 years ago. Gautam is found to have taken three rupees for his involvement. Police is also making efforts to reach others alleged of involvement in the scam. However, police faces a strong challenge in returning the 128 rupees of land to the government and ensure actions against those involved by making the investigations more productive in the case which has remained incomplete because of political pressure. The budget presented by the government for the upcoming fiscal year has been endorsed after a long discussion at the House of Representatives. In addition to that, the budget was endorsed from the House of Representatives through a physical vote for the first time. After Finance Minister Prakash Sharan Mahat responded to the questions on the budget, Speaker of the House of Representatives Devraj Kimire announced of endorsement of the appropriation bill through voice votes. However, main opposition CPNUML parliamentarians expressed concerns over the voice calls and demanded for physical voting. Regulations of the House of Representatives has given the right to the parliamentarians to demand physical vote even after voice vote. Based on this arrangement, the budget was endorsed through a physical voting for the first time. A total of 147 votes were received in favour of the budget against 108 votes. Parliamentarians of the ruling coalition, Nepali Congress, CPN Mao Center, Janta Samajwadi Party, CPN Unified Socialist and Loktantrik Samajwadi Party voted in favor of the budget. CPN UML, Rashtriya Sotantra Party and Rashtriya Prajatantra Party among others voted against the budget. All arrangements of the budget excluding merging election offices with district administration offices were endorsed without amendment. Considering the disagreement among the ruling parties, CPN UML had demanded a physical vote. The ruling parties had issued a whip to their parliamentarians to vote in favor of the budget. Time now for our segment, Public Pulse, where you text us with your opinion. Public Pulse. Here's the question, what do you term the parliamentarians not participating in the discussions on the budget? Your options are A, unaware of responsibilities, B, lack of expertise, and C, an issue of personal decision. Voting is on, type NEWS, select your option A, B, or C, and send it to 34001 to share your opinion with us. Two people, including a Nepali security guard, were killed when an armed man exchanged fire with Saudi Arabian security authorities near the U.S. consulate building in Jeddah. A report quoting the U.S. State Department stated that the incident on Wednesday led to the deaths of the gunman and a security guard and no Americans were harmed in the incident. The Saudi press agency reported that a Nepali worker in the consulate's private security guards were injured during the incident and subsequently died. As per the report, investigations are underway to determine the motive and circumstances behind the incident. In our Public Voice segment, we have asked in several provinces what they think of the government process in selecting development projects. Let's take a look at what they had to say. Public voice. Rajnitik asta chhe, antes vaji ali kada un unhe khane borga bolna sakne bhakti orko pocket bada yojanaaru banana. Sujaoli ero tis ma maapa unhe likas ko karya ro gono pane asta 
हुनु पर्नेमा उनीहरुले हैन आफु आफु मन परी हैन गरेको यहाँ देखिन्छ जसको पावर पहुँच छ उहाँहरुले मात्रै यो कामहरु पाउने गर्नु भएको छ भेला गरेर बसाएर छनोट गर्ने प्रक्रिया हो तर यस्तो यस्ता कार्यक्रमहरु कहीँ पनि सुनिदैन नगरदेखि लिएर प्रदेश स्तरसम्म आउँदा सम्म चाहिँ त्यो योजना योजनाहरु चाहिँ बीचबाटमै बिलाउने किसिमले त्यो बेपत्ता भएको अवस्थाहरु चाहिँ हामीले भेटेका छौ योजना छनोटको प्रक्रिया छ जुन सिस्टममा आफैमा राम्रो छ एकदमै झन्झटिलो छ जस्तो एक करोडको को सही काम होना सकते हैं ना कि तो मेरे को जब मैं पच्चीस लाख रुपए आए तो तेरे को काम होना तो बीस को परकीरिया से तो परकीरिया ले चंदर परकीरिया सा आपने मान से अरलाई अगर डिराहनी पैसा खानी पैसा पचाव नहीं मतलब काम बॉय इस तो लाख सा सानुड का नहीं लागी परकीरे संग मतलब परकीरे लागी परकीरे मतलब दस लाख समझ लेते परंपरागत तरीका आरु अपना ही दे आइली को अवस्था में पनी विकास निर्माण का जन कार्यक्रम आरु सानुड करी � तर कारण भी प्रक्रिया ठीक चलना। विकास छनोट घर ने बिलाम है नहीं। आ आपनों मानसे रा आ आपनों जून पार्टी सत्ता में था, जून आपनों मानसे था, रा उस लाय मात्रे अब यो विकास को कारण में होना। कुनी बनी ये दोनों आरु उपभोक्ता रा संबंधित त्याग बांशिंदा रा लाभान्वित व्यक्ति रा था उधर � Time now for international update. Human remains are believed to have been found within the wreckage of the Titan submersible, the U.S. Coast Guard says. Pieces from the sub, which imploded on a deep dive to the Titanic, were unloaded in the St. Jones's, Canada on Wednesday. Officials say the sub's landing frame and a rear cover were found among the debris. U.S. medical professionals will conduct a formal analysis of presumed remains, the Coast Guard said in a statement. The agency is in the early stages of an investigation into the cause of the disaster. The Coast Guard's Marine Board of Investigation, MBI, will transport the evidence to a U.S. port for further analysis and testing. MBI Chair Captain Jason Neuber said in a statement that there is still a substantial amount of work to be done to understand the factors that led to the catastrophic loss of the Titan and help ensure a similar tragedy does not occur again. All five people on board the vessel died on 18 June after it imploded, imploded about 90 minutes into a dive to view the famous 1912 shipwreck which sits at a depth of 12,500 feet in the North Atlantic. The passengers were the head of Ocean Gate where, which organized the dive, 61-year-old Stockton Rush, British explorer Hamish Harding, 58, Shehzada Daoud, 48, and his son Suleiman Daoud, 19, and French diver Paul Henry Nargiolet, who was 77 years old. Protesters shot fireworks at police and set cars ablaze in the working class Paris suburb of Nanterre hours after President Emmanuel Macron on Wednesday deplored the inexcusable fatal shooting of a 17-year-old boy during a traffic stop there. The shooting of the teenager who was of North African origin has fueled long-running complaints of police brutality in the ethnically diverse suburbs of France's biggest cities. On Nanterre's Avenue Pablo Piasco, a trail of overturned vehicles burned as fireworks fizzed at police lines. Police clashed with protesters in the northern city of Lille and Toulouse in the southwest. There was also unrest in Amiens, Jean and the Essonne administrative department south of the French capital. Earlier in rare criticism of law enforcement, a day after the shooting, Macron called the shooting inexcusable. Hazy smoke-filled skies from raging Canadian wildfires hovered Wednesday over the U.S. Midwest and East, where millions of Americans were urged to limit outdoor activities as the poor air quality made for dangerous, unhealthy conditions. Much of the Midwest, from western Iowa through Illinois and Wisconsin and into Michigan and Ohio, was under an air quality alert expected to last until Thursday or even longer, the National Weather Service said. 
Air quality alerts triggered by drifting smoke from prolonged wildfires in Canada were also in effect for New York State, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Washington, D.C. and parts of North Carolina. More than 100 million Americans were dealing with poor air quality on Wednesday afternoon. Forecasters urged people living in those areas, especially children, the elderly and those affected by respiratory illness, to limit prolonged or heavy exertion and, if possible, to stay indoors or wear a mask. Canada is wrestling with its worst ever start to wildfire season, which has already burned 8 million hectares, an area bigger than West Virginia. On Wednesday, there were 477 active blaze, about half of which are considered out of control, spread from the Pacific to the Atlantic coasts. Canada's biggest city, Toronto, had the worst air of all major cities in the world on Wednesday afternoon, according to pollution tracking service IQ Air. An Amtrak train carrying about more than 190 passengers en route to Seattle partially derailed on Wednesday after hitting a water truck in Moore Park, California. The accident was reported at around 11.30 local time and emergency crews were deployed to the scene. Ventura County Sheriff's Office Captain Dean Worthy said the tanker is presumed to be a county truck that was delivering water to local ranches. Out of the more than 190 passengers and employees traveling on the train, only eight suffered moderate to minor injuries and were transferred to a hospital. Firefighters and paramedics established a triage area to treat the rest of the passengers, some of whom said they felt they'd hit very hard with something ahead of exiting the cars. The cause of the crash is being investigated by authorities. Before wrapping up, here's a look at the top stories once again. Muslim community across the country celebrating Eid al-Adha today by exchanging greetings and offering prayers to Allah. Hindu community also observing Tulsi planting day. Court grants seven-day custody against four arrested in alleged involvement in Lalita Niwas land scam. Min Bahadur Gurung found to have grabbed 29 rupees of land. Human remains believed to have been found within the wreckage of the Titan submersible which imploded on a deep dive to the Titanic. Medical professionals to conduct formal analysis. And Stefanos Chichipas crash out of the Mallorca Open Championship on Wednesday in his first match with a 6-4-3-6-6-2 defeat by Yannick Hafman. That's all for the moment. Thank you for watching. Eid Mubarak.